Hey there, it's Elizabeth from Living Vibrantly, and um, my coaching business is all about helping everyone feel their best, and so this week I've been trying out a program called the Three Day Refresh, um, which is a real food detox, and it is all about um, experiencing life on a vegan diet for three days and um, eliminating foods that could potentially be causing inflammation in the body. Um, so it's a chance to see how you feel on that diet and see if you might want to carry forward some of those changes, if not all of them. I think it would be hard to eat um, this narrowly um, restricted of a diet uh, on a permanent basis, but it's certainly not been as hard as I expected. So I'm going to be thinking carefully about if I might do this plan, repeat it from time to time, or incorporate some of these changes into my everyday diet. Uh, so I finished day two today, and day two was a lot easier than day one. Um, I guess the way that I understand it is that, you know, it's very, a different way of eating, very different from what I'm used to. And so my body understandably would need some time to get used to it. But within 24 hours, I really had a lot more energy than the first day, better able to focus. I do feel different, but I didn't feel bad like I did yesterday. You know, I felt yesterday really um, mentally unfocused and like I kept losing my train of thought and that was not happening today. So that is great news. I'll go through quickly what I ate today because nutrition is the big part of this plan. Um, you know, it's not about exercise. I'm only doing yoga and kind of light housework type of stuff um, and some walking yesterday, but um, there's no workout that's part of this. So upon waking, drink some water. Um, I added lemon to mine. Breakfast is vegan shakeology with fruit and water. Um, so I had frozen raspberries that I blended with chocolate vegan shakeology. I had a nice um, chocolate raspberry shake. And then morning snack is fiber sweep, which if you're wondering what that is, you've got to um, check out my video uh, from yesterday in the same playlist. I also have an overview. If you look for the one that's called overview, it tells exactly what's in all of the supplements, um, the ingredient list. So then for lunch, I had a vanilla vegan protein shake, which also has a multivitamin and some additional ingredients to help keep the metabolism humming along. One of those is medium chain triglycerides, which is the same um, type of fat that's plentiful in um, coconut oil, which is, you know, part of the reason why coconut oil, coconut oil has become so popular. It uh, is very, that type of fat is very easy for your body to assimilate and to use for energy. And it has a, an effect of boosting your metabolism. So on a plan like this, where we're eating less than normal, we're not exercising, uh, this helps keep our metabolism humming along. So that's what's in the vanilla fresh shake. Now I had that blended up with some more frozen, frozen raspberries. So raspberry vanilla shake for lunch and then a vegetable and a healthy fat of my choosing. And today I had, um, what did I have? It was kale sauteed with coconut oil, which I just mentioned. Afternoon snack, another vegetable and a healthy fat. So this was really, really good. I had a tomato cut up with a quarter of an avocado uh, diced and then some white balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and chili flakes and Himalayan salt. So just really delicious getting that healthy fat in there, seasonal vegetables and olive oil, strong anti-inflammatory effect if you're getting the good stuff, quality, genuine, um, organic olive oil. So that was a real treat. I mean, avocado is just delicious, right? Who doesn't like avocado? Um, just to sit outside in the sun and eat that. You know, one thing that I'm noticing is that this program has really made me notice and savor the taste of vegetables. 
Now, I know already that I love the way vegetables make me feel. I've noticed that I feel better if I eat a lot of vegetables. But a lot of times, there are things that I put a sauce on or cook with meat. It's a side dish. It's an afterthought. Um, you, you really use a lot of seasoning that masks the flavor. And on this plan, I mean, there are some raw vegetables. There are some cooked vegetables you can use, you know, there, there are a lot of flavorings that are allowed, but I find that, I mean, it's partly simple preparations and it's partly being a little hungrier is really making me notice and savor the taste of vegetables. And I think that, you know, I've eliminated a lot of the really strong tasting things too, like meat has a very strong taste. So tonight for my dinner, I had spinach, it's a big salad, two cups of spinach, half a red bell pepper, half a cucumber, and a small tomato, and then um, pumpkin seeds on the top and dressing of olive oil and lemon juice. And I mean, it took me a long time to eat this salad, and I was really noticing like how different the red pepper tastes from the tomato. The red pepper had this beautiful sweetness, and... Um, you know, I always feel that eating is a little bit of a spiritual experience. Don't think I'm corny for saying that, but I mean, it's really at the heart of it. It's amazing that we chew something up, you know, animal product, plant product, and it becomes the energy that our bodies need to live. To me, that is, um, evidence of a higher power of divine creation, you know, and to me that's compatible with evolution and science and all of that. Um, but it's really, really awesome when you stop to think about it and we only take it for granted because we eat at least three times a day and it's just so common that we don't even think about it anymore. So what this program has done for me is really restore that sense of wonder where I'm noticing each bite of food and how it tastes and going a little slower with my meals. Um, I almost always do something while I'm eating and I know that's not recommended, but I'm also a really slow eater. So um, that's kind of the compromise I make that I just keep on working while I'm eating and um like tonight even, I was just reading a book, but I find that I'm stopping more to really notice my food and, you know, much more in the moment and not distracted. So that's been an awesome and unexpected um, side effect of this. So the other thing, just to finish out what I ate today, uh, that salad was dinner and there that was, you know, the healthy fats um, with the pumpkin seeds. And then um, there was a vanilla fresh shake too. And with dinner, you don't get any fruit with it. It's just vanilla fresh um, vegan protein shake blended in water. And that has, again, the multivitamin and medium chain triglycerides, um, fat that helps you burn fat. Um, and, and I doctored it up a little bit. So I put some organic pumpkin pie spice in there and a little bit of maple extract and made kind of a pumpkin pie tasting um, vanilla shake, which was delicious. And it was, you know, it's packed with protein, but it also felt like a dessert. So today I can really say that I do not feel deprived. I wasn't cold all day like I was yesterday. I mean, certainly not as warm as usual, but I wasn't freezing today. So that was a nice change. And um, like I said, have more energy. My body seems to be adjusting. I did some yoga again today. Um, I didn't have quite that same sense of calm and ease in balancing, um, but that's okay. Um, I felt just a lot more normal throughout the day. And I will say that this morning I was down seven pounds over, um, you know, or below my weight from the previous day. So, you know, obviously a lot of that is water weight, but it's still pretty cool to see that um, this program is having an effect on my body and I'm not really doing it to lose weight but um, diminishing the bloat after my vacation definitely was part of why I'm doing this so it's nice to see that that's working. I'll be back tomorrow with the final installment. If 
you want to be notified when that is published, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.